Uh, you're on. I was a recipient of a loyalty award, so for ten years. So I suppose more than ten okay. years. Okay. So previous to um, your position now, you worked as a city, city administrator of Davao City, correct? Uh, that is correct, Your Honor. So as a city administrator, I'm sure travel authorities would come and go your desk. Uh, for certain um, uh, officials only, Your Honor. Yes. So, but they would come your desk. Ikaw pumipirma, ikaw signatory, ikaw may authority. That is... And you would know that open-ended travel orders are generally prohibited. You cannot issue a travel order that doesn't specify to where you're going, up to when will you be there, and the other details and and purpose of your of your travel. Is that correct? Uh, your Honor, Mr. Chair, the preparation of when I was a city administrator, the preparation of documents as regard travel authorities is actually handled by the human resource uh, division. Yes, I'm not asking uh, Attorney Lopez who prepares them. Yes. My, I, my, as, as an attorney and as, mm -hmm. a, as a city administrator, you, you know mm -hmm. that it is prohibited, generally prohibited, to issue travel orders that are open-ended, meaning no specific uh, place, purpose, and time? Uh, Your Honor, I would think that in this case, um, it can be justified because uh, there are several, there is a schedule of activities happening on these dates. So at the very least, I would, I would think that it limits... So if you think it's justified... The areas. Yes, yeah. In this particular case, Your yes. Honor. Yes, so you think, if you think it's justified in this particular case, let's take this particular case uh, as an example. Mm. So what's, what particular places are you speaking of? Um, that is the matter, Your Honor, that was discussed earlier. I would have to ask and check So therefore, which therefore, you cannot use this example as a particular case. Because you yourself have no uh, specific information as to what these various places are. Mm. Am I correct, Attorney Lopez? Uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair, there is a list of activities happening across our satellite offices. That can be an um, indication of which areas they will be traveling to. So meaning... Is this a, a regular practice in the office of the vice president where you issue travel orders recklessly with no specific day, with no specific place, with no specific purpose? Basta ang sinusulot niyo lang yun, varios. Paano ngayon to, Attorney Lopez? Paano ngayon to, si Ms. Mrs. Villa del Rey? Nandiyan ba siya? She, she probably went on restroom break, Your Honor. Okay, tatanong ko na lang si, Ms. San, si Attorney Sanchez. Kung ganito yung practice sa OVP, paano nyo charge ng per dime? Uh, Tapos paano kayo nag issue ng tra ha? travel voucher? Paano kayo nag issue ng uh, pambayad ng ticket, pambili ng uh, gasolina, pambayad sa kain, sa aeroplano? Kung ito, sinasabi nyo various places. Various places can mean... Here, there, everywhere, from the North Pole to the South Pole. So I mean, you can't expect you can't expect the committee to believe that one reason to why your officials are not present is because they're attending to activities in various places. That's totally unacceptable. Is this a practice in your office, Attorney Sanchez? Mr. Chair, uh, usually when, before we issue a travel order, there are attachments to it. The first one would be the request for travel I'm not authority. asking that, Attorney Sanchez. I know, the, I, know, I know the process because I used to work as a chief executive in a local government unit. I know how it works. So don't tell me the process. What I'm asking you, ito ba, I practice... So, Office of the Vice President, 
na recklessly nag issue kayo ng travel authority? Uh, no, Mr. Chair. Oh, eh, ba't nyo ginagawa? Kung hindi naman pala. So, ba't, di, ba't nyo ginagawa? Uh, Mr. Chair, I... So, therefore, kung hindi issue. nyo pala talagang ginagawa, ngayon nyo lang ginawa. Kung kailan may hearing tayo sa good government. Na parang lumalabas, sadyang iniiwasan nyo na dumalo yung mga opisyalis ninyo dito sa amin pang dinig. Kasi talagang isasabay nyo pa eh. Kung kailan may hearing, sinasadya nyo na wala dito. At yung dapat pang, at yung pumirma pa dun sa travel authority na yon is the same person who promised that he should be here. Mr. Chair, this is beyond disrespect to the committee. Mr. Chairman. I mean, at the very least, I mean, are you trying to hide the truth? Is it so difficult already for people to say the truth? Nowadays, na you have to come up with all sorts of lies. But I'm telling you, you're going to run out of excuses eventually. You're going to run out of reasons eventually. And eventually, we're going to get to you.